On iHeartRadio, by the way, tell me where you do it. I heard from D-Rock, who listens down in El Paso. And he was like, um, hey, I started watching Stranger Things all over again from the front. And every close-up of them ugly kids, I'm thinking, Alan was absolutely right about these kids. And that's, a, you know, Stranger Things, that show isn't even 10 years old. And all I said was, and people still give me a hard time, if you want me to watch a show about kids, it better be good-looking kids. That's all I said. This is television we're talking about, right? It's actually not what you said. What did I say? They better be hot kids. <laughs> is actually what all you right, said. fine. They better be hot kids. All right. <laughs> if you want me to watch a show, listen. I uh, Winona Ryder, love her. She can do no wrong. I know some people will disagree with me. Some people find her to be annoying and uh, overly sibilant, and I understand that. But I'm a big uh, Winona Ryder fan. She's a Gen X queen for my generation. So she's in there, all good. But it was focused on them kids. And uh, yes, if you want, and all I said was that uh, these kids were, you know, a couple of them at least were visually unpleasant. That's all I said. Not hot enough. (laughs) Millie, uh, Millie Bobby Brown obviously took the lion's share of the attention because of her character. And also, you know, um, she's a, a lovely young woman. But now that these kids have gotten older and gawky, that Manger Tings kid is in there, the kid with no teeth. Um, so uh, thank you, D-Rock, for affirming that I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not out there being crazy. If you're going to have a show that has children... Now, again, I don't... This Stranger Things was a show that everybody watched. At least uh, a lot of people watched Stranger Things. Pre-pandemic. This wasn't a show people watched because of the pandemic. That was Tiger King. But Stranger Things, and... Uh, I think people's excitement for forthcoming seasons began to wane because it felt like they were really dragging it out. They still have one more coming. I, I, these kids are going to be like married with their own children by the time they get around to this new season of Stranger Things. They should have, by all accounts, ended it with the last season. I think a lot of people thought that that was the plan. Turns out there's another one coming. Uh, but these are all like grown people now. You see them in other shows. The one kid is in those Ghostbusters reboots. Um, another kid is... I, I haven't seen Manger Tings in anything. But um, uh, anyway, there's D-Rock. But if you listen to us on the app, uh, make sure that I know where you are on uh, our map. Truck listens in Carrollton. Uh, Georgia Fat Joe is in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Greg is in Greensboro, North Carolina. And Jackie is right there in Mary's background. She's in Paramus, New Jersey. Hey. Right there by the mall. They still have the Paramus Mall open? No idea. You know, people think that malls have been completely done away with across this country, but there are still malls that are chugging along. A couple up in Northeast Ohio, right? There's the, uh, what's the one out there in Strongsville? What's the mall? South Park. South Park Mall. I was just out there for an appearance a couple of weekends ago and drove past the mall, and it looked like it was hopping. Every time I go out to Great Northern Mall, I go out there once a year, and every year I comment how busy it is because within the span of the previous year, I'll forget because I don't don't frequently find myself in a mall. So uh, the Stranger Things kids are coming back. You know who I think is delightful? Who's that? And I'll tell you this. I hadn't watched Saturday Night Live in a long time. I felt like I was... Uh, There was a period of time where I felt like I was the last person on the planet. At the very least, the last person among anybody I knew who was watching Saturday Night Live. And then I just kind of fell off. So it's not for as long as I hung on to that show. I don't see it that frequently anymore. But this past weekend, I decided to watch. I was clicking around and they had Ariana Grande hosting and they had Stevie Nicks was the musical guest. She sounded pretty rough. Uh, Stevie Nicks has a great voice, objectively. I don't know if it's her choice of material or whatever it was. But that Ariana Grande, I'll tell you what. She is, and I remember when she was a kid, too. She was on these Nickelodeon shows that my older kids would watch. She was on a show called Victorious. Remember Victorious? Yep. She was like the best friend, right? She was the best friend. And then they spun her off into her own show with my good friend Jeanette McCurdy. And it was a whole thing. But Ariana Grande, but she was always playing these dumb, ditzy characters or whatever. And and she's on a press tour now because... The film version of the play Wicked is coming out, and uh, she's Galinda in that. So they have her on SNL, and she's hosting, and she is a delight. 
it was a bummer that Pete Davidson was not still in the cast because that would have been fun to see them do something. But she's, we know she can sing, but she's doing accents. She can Anybody do else on the Ariana yeah, She's so she's, good. She's very her. good, she's yeah. She's very talented. And she seems, by all accounts, she seems very sweet and very, like, polite and kind. And I mean, I don't know a single thing about her personally, but she seems very, very talented. They did a bit where, you know, Celine Dion did some song for, they were parodying a Celine Dion thing that I think she did for the Olympics. And she played Celine Dion doing an ad for the UFC. And she nailed Celine Dion's voice. She did a bit where she had to do she had to pretend to be Jennifer Coolidge. You know who Jennifer Coolidge is? Yeah. yeah. She does the Discover ads, and she got she kind of blew up from the White Lotus, but she's been around a long time. She was she one was of Stifler's mom. She was Stifler's mom. mom. That was she her was big at first. Uh, one of Jerry's girlfriends moments. on Seinfeld. Yeah. And yeah. then she was uh, the friend in Legally Blonde too. Right. Those were like I feel like the American Pie and Legally Blondes were what I put know her on her the from. map. Yeah. Yeah. But they did a bit where she and because Chloe Fineman has done Jennifer Coolidge before in bits, and so they did a bit where they were looking at each other, they were supposed to be looking into a mirror, but each one of them were doing Jennifer Coolidge, and that's not an easy voice to do. And I thought it was very funny. What will we see if our date asks us if we could have any superpower? Crab walk. <laughs> <laughs> now give me one. <laughs> if you could meet anyone living or dead, who would it be? Living. <laughs> You can't help but sound smart when you're wearing Maybelline. Let's say the name together. Yeah. Maybelline. Anyway, yeah, very, very talented. Very nice yeah. young lady. And again, I don't know anything about her, but um, uh, I remember her from, uh, you know, those Nickelodeon shows back in the day. And then they had Dana Carvey jump in. You know, it's the 50th season over there at SNL. And um, so they're throwing in a lot, you know, because it's election season, they've got everybody playing one of the characters is hanging out. Is ha- yeah, so it's yeah. Gaffigan, it's Tim Walls, and um, I'm sure Mikey Andy Day's Andy Samberg's all- hanging out. Yeah, he's yeah. Doug Emhoff, and, yeah. uh, you know, Mikey Day had uh, Joe Biden sewn up, and then Carvey swings in on a chandelier and goes, no, nah, no, nah, I'll do it. And, um, you know, funny enough, but um, Ariana Grande, you know, the people who extol her virtues are, uh, they might be right. Alan, she looks like a skeleton now. Well, she is very petite. And she's very thin. Um, I don't think that I would say she looks like a skeleton. But, you know, it's spooky season. Mm. And maybe that's got something to do with it. Beth in Scottsdale is listening to the show. Did you meet up with Beth in Scottsdale, Mary, when you were there? No. You didn't? I did not. Well, Mary hates this audience. And so well, yeah, it I'm is... very clear about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no questions on whether uh, or not uh, I like you guys. Uh, right. The question <laughs> is, was there going to be an impromptu meetup? And uh, there was not. No. going to be anything of the sort. No, my cousin actually lives in Phoenix, and he was like, hey, the State Fair is this week. I'm like, it is on oh, the God. The State, the State Fair. You is Phoenix I mean? the capital of Arizona? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sure we've Isn't gone it? over this before. Well, uh, and I realize that the State Fair doesn't have to be in the capital. A lot of places it is. We've gone over that, too. But um, uh, a lot of people are asking what an open-toed shoe is, Mary, since you guys were running around chasing them. Like flip-flops. Ah, uh, oh, not T-O-A-D. Got it. Oh, Listen, there was a, ah, uh, you know, okay. pe- it was very easy for people All to become right. confused. And so. I, I see what you did there. I'm not me. No, This person. Obvious. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, um, Ariana Grande is a hot kid, so right up Alan's alley. That's not what I'm saying. Ariana Grande is. She's uh, like 30 something. I was going to say, she's got to be, I don't think she's 35 yet, but I don't think she's in her 20s anymore either. Um, 31. 31 years old. People still so give her pretty. a hard time for that video where she was licking donuts, but that was like a bit she was doing. She wasn't walking around licking people's donuts. Um, and again, she is, um, uh, for me, and she's- As far as like controversial things that celebrities do, licking donuts is pretty <laughs> yeah, <right>. easy. <laughs> you know, like we could like stand- Like to still be like standing on that and be like, but remember the time she licked that donut? It's like, come on, she needs the calories. You said she looks like a skeleton. We could stand to have a little bit more donut licking- with our celebrities, and a little less everything else. A little less peeing on people. A little less uh, all the other stuff. A little fewer freak-offs. Although a freak-off does sound like a lot of fun. That's the problem. 
that's where your head goes to different places because you're like, if you're a celebrity and you know you're on one of these videotapes, because a lot of people passed through Diddy's orbit over the last couple of decades, you know you're in one of these uh, videos. Now, there are probably some celebrities who are hoping their video pops up because people haven't been talking about them for a long time, and at least it'll put them back in the pop culture conversation. Not how you want to be reintroduced to the public, but, you know, you can't always pick. But it does sound like a really fun time. Like what? if, What's if fun you, about it? If you had a friend <laughs> who was like, hey, I'm having a freak-off party this weekend, and you go, what's that? And they go, well, we're going to have a bunch of escorts and a bunch of baby oil, and there's going to be hot tubs, and there's going to be dancers. You'd go, what time does it start? Is it 10 p know, to question friends, mark? A lot of my friends live in apartments, so like that just seems really crowded and like it's going to smell real bad. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the, the friendship also, uh, type situation. Also, like I don't want, that's not the kind of friendship I want to have with my friends. I don't want to, like. Who's talking about friendship? I'm talking about freak offs. Right, but. You get invited to a friendship schmin trip. You're, you're, you're getting invited to, to a freak off. A freak off doesn't, yeah, like it doesn't. Uh, with a bunch of people that I either don't know or do know, I'm. I'm this is how you be get to know them. A little prude, like Mary probably is. Dude, uh, whatever. No, you would not. Mary would be right in there with the freak <laughs> off. No, I would not be there. No, I'm oh, not. Right, I'm no. not freak offing. Because here's don't what act I think. Prude, now you're subscribed to your podcast co-host OnlyFans. Don't act. Yeah, like, but I'm not going to go and never. rub oil on her in I front of never other people. Look at a boob. <laughs> I can't go to freak off and see some boobies. No, but no, but here's what I'm saying. But, but the freak off thing is a little bit further than just seeing boobies. Well, you don't know. You've never been to one. Well, I'm not gonna well I wouldn't go if it was just seeing boobies. I mean, you can see boobies anytime you want. What I'm saying is, I'm competitive enough, where. I'm not maniacal about, but I'm competitive enough. And the term freak off implies to me that there's going to be a winner. A competition. Wh what's a dance off? You get up with, a, there's a winner, right? Yeah, it's a competition. Mm -hmm. So a freak off, did he give out medals? Are there trophies? Uh, I have so many questions. Everybody's given Diddy a hard time, as well they should, because it sounds like there was a lot of criminal activity going on. I'm just saying that the freak off in and of itself, sounds like a lot of fun. You're lying to yourself to some degree if you're saying it doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Well, I want to know. It's out in, of curiosity. In what ways are we using the baby oil? Are we creating a giant slip and slide? Because if that were the case, maybe I'll go. Is it a pool full of baby oil? Well, it's be supposed to be. In? It's supposed <laughs> to remain external. So let's start there. Well, from what I understand, crimes happened. So. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. the, the criminality, that's no good. I'm just saying that, like, your garden, if a buddy called but you. But it's goes, a slippery hey. slope, Alan. <laughs> it, starts of the just, oil. it starts off with that's the slip and so slide of baby oil, and then all of a sudden, boom, human trafficking. Yeah, it really is. It's degrees of criminality. Well, anyway, I've got money for you, as promised. It's $1,000. It's a chance for you to grab some money, courtesy of the Bucky. Uh, Bucky. Bucky. Been gone for a few days. Buzzer Bookie, good luck. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Dollar. That's dollar. Enter it now at WMMS.com. We were out on Friday. It was not 104 degrees, obviously, here. But I certainly didn't think it was going to be uh, near 75 degrees. On Friday, we took our daughter to Cedar Point for the first time. And, for you know, they do hollow weekends. And so we went out there, and she'd never gone because in years past, she'd just been too short. And uh, she's full tilt boogie when it comes to the roller coasters. When we were at Universal Studios in Orlando. She was all about it. Well, for whatever reason, Friday, I don't know if it just wasn't vibing or whatever it was, she was kind of uncharacteristically timid. And so, like, we went on the Iron Dragon, you know, the thing that's got the little what do you call them? The little, like, cabs, right? You're not, you, you're swinging, but you're not uh, getting the full, like, loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster thing going on. But it was bananas out there. And friends of ours who go to Cedar Point all the time were like, we've never, they were there too, they were like, we've never seen it like this during Halloween weekends. Because our daughter didn't want to be there for the nighttime stuff, which is usually like, it, you know, if it's just adults going, they go. 
but we took her. But it was like 75 degrees. But everybody had off school Friday, didn't they? I didn't realize every... You're right. She had school off, too. Yeah, and that's Brian's why, yeah. daughter was off. Yeah, so. I didn't realize it was... I, I don't know what I thought. I wasn't paying that close attention to it. Uh, we had it on the books. That's all I knew. And, uh, and that she had the day off. Yeah, so I didn't realize. But, you know, uh, you're just standing in line, you know, waiting to do stuff. And, obviously, it's Halloween weekend, so there's a lot of things that are closed. Uh, as far as rides go. So it was fun. It was, but it was like, I don't think anybody knew that it was going to be like that hot on an October day walking around Cedar Point. But it was still fun, you know, I guess. I love Cedar Point. Yeah, I mean, we, I haven't gone in a minute. I mean, I don't think we've gone since like hollow weekends at night years ago. I haven't been there in a bit. Took my older kids there some years ago, but it's like, you know, some people are amusement park families, and I don't think we're one of those. Uh, at least I'm not like an amusement park. You know, it's fun. It's fine. You know, I, I'm not going to be a stick in the mud. I'm Captain Fun. I have to live up to that name that so many other people have given to me. I didn't give it to myself. So yeah. many people. Like the time you took your son and waited in the car. <laughs> That's really fun. I well, that. but I wasn't going to third wheel it, with, fifth wheel it with him and his boys. Yeah, you could have just gone and rid by yourself. We've done this. I could have done a million things. You know what I chose to do? <laughs> Sit in my car, car with the AC on and red. Yes, <sighs> that's right. I said, hey, man, go have fun. Good for you. I didn't know. Now, in my defense, I didn't know it was going to be like an all day thing because it was not presented to me that way. Amusement they got, parks always, what are you going to go for two hours? Well, no, no, no. They, what they told me was that there was other stuff going on and so they were going to go to Cedar Point but it wasn't going to, they weren't going to be there, you know, till like the lights turn on. And that's kind of what it ended up being. So yeah, it was, uh, you know, because I thought about it. I was like, well, I've paid to get in. Like I should just, you know, walk around. What am I going to do though? By you myself? Get I'm going to be the guy. Dog. Single rider. Yeah. Single rider. You can skip the line a lot of times if you're yeah. the single uh, rider. So it's like, hey, I'm a single front. rider. Yeah. No, I was not going to do that. No. But, yeah, so it was hot. And, yeah, sat in the car with the AC. But <laughs> this time you went I like, in. I had, like, condensation on the inside of the windows by the time all was said and done. So what This time I went in? Yeah, with your daughter. Well, yeah, it was the three of us. We were taking her for her first time. When my son and his friends went, they were like 14. I was just the taxi. You know, they were in Ohio, and that's where I live. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. They were like staying at a friend's house or something who lived on, you know, on Marblehead or something like that. I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll take you guys over there. Did um you guys go into like the Snoopy Land? Yeah, went into area. Snoopy Land. She liked yeah. all those? I think that was a little too babyish for her. I mean, she yeah. and I rode like one of those kind of spinny crab things because we figured we were going to be doing roller coasters, but a lot of them weren't, I mean, a couple of them were closed because it looked like they had pieces missing. So, you know, they're building new things all the time and whatever, but I don't know, maybe she just might not have been feeling it that day. And so we weren't um, doing like Rougarou and, you know, all the, all the ones that I expected we would be doing. So, but the Snoopy stuff is like for little kids, little, yeah. little kids. I mean, she's Well, eight. I figured if she was like maybe too scared of the bigger ones, those Snoopy ones are a little bit Yeah, I to... think it was more she didn't want to wait in line so long that she, oh. I, I don't think it was a fear thing. But we, yeah, we walked over there and I was like, well, we can do this. She's like, yeah, okay. And it was like just one of these kind of spinny things that go up and down. It's fine. Well, and then there's like the one, it's like a little kid roller coaster where they race. What is, it? is it that, is that the Gemini? Well, Gemini is like a real roller coaster. Yeah, Which, but that like, was closed. A Gemini, then? couple of them were closed. There, There's one yeah, Gemini like Junior or something Gemini, like yeah, that. Yeah, where it's like the red and the blue carts race. But it's a roller coaster. Yeah, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. But, you know, it was fun. And um, I'm sure we'll go back next summer. I love them. I love roller coasters, dude. Yeah, they're fun. I mean, you know. Mike from Parma says he can't do wooden coasters anymore. Well, they are headache makers. I mean, I guess it depends Ricky. on. But but the what's the big wooden one there? The um, uh, Steel it Vengeance. Used to be is what it, the mean it, it was the Mean Streak, but now it's Steel. Vengeance. Whatever it is, it was closed, and I looked up, and like you could visibly see there were like parts missing. I'm like, okay, well that's closed because somebody pointed out, hey, it's not fully intact. At least that maybe I was looking at it in a way that made it look like that, but it was closed. 
So, you know, I don't know. It was fine. Everybody had a good time. I've got to take a break. I'll have those Kerry King tickets for you. You know, Slayer broke up, and then he went off and did a solo thing. And then Slayer got back together and said, hey, let's do some festivals. They did Riot Fest in Chicago, and they were doing a whole bunch of other get-togethers. And now Kerry King is going back out on the road doing more solo stuff. So end of January, he's going to be at the House of Blues. It's going to be an amazing night, heavy metal. So I'll have those tickets for you after the break. 35192. You want to text me for anything else, do it there, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox.